Where are we? Which, which one are we at? This one? Hi everyone! Sorry, I'm looking around going, which camera are we on today? We've got too many of them. Hi everyone! Welcome to my April Live. I've just seen myself up there and this looks really weird. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. Um, I'm doing good. I had a really nice couple of days over Easter. I actually feel slightly, slightly rejuvenated and relaxed and things are sort of not quite back to normal, but getting getting very close. We're nearly there now. Uh, I'm just going to go through and say hi to everyone who's here. So hi, Artie Crafty. Hi. Um, oh, bloody hell. I, any, I know your name. I do. Trish. I knew it was coming to me. Uh, Trish from Hobby Hoppers. Hi, Gilly. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Simone. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Kim. Hi, Yvonne. Love the time change. Uh, it's not really a time change for me. It feels normal. Hey, Mel. Um, feels normal for me. Um, what doesn't feel normal is the fact that there's a footy game going on and Ryan wouldn't let me have it on my laptop while I had it down here in front of me. Hi, Esther. Um, he was very strict on this. He said, no, Ashley, you can't have the footy on while you're talking to your friends because that's rude. Um, sure. But are you guys going to really hate me if I check a score every once in a while? Let me know if that's not allowed. I'll, I'll happily... I'll happily do it out for an hour. I've um I've done the right thing already. I've already watched like the Anzac observance, the like the for the game, and and I've watched the first five minutes. So I I feel like I'm not cheating on football with you guys. <laughs> um, who else has said hi? Hi Mel. Hi Kells. Makes it six a.m. not four a.m. I'm here to help, Avon. I'm here to help. Uh, so I don't have anything in specific. Anything in specific? Anything specifically planned for you guys tonight? I haven't. I say I haven't got that much to show you. Like if you remember back to when I was only doing three videos a week, I'd have so much extra to show you guys in these lives. But um, because the extra content, hey Jet, um, I kind of don't have as much here. So um, this is just more me chatting with you and and just hanging out and generally just you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Winging it. Uh, but if there's anything you guys want to see, want me to talk about. Let me know. Um, I do have my current planner system in front of me, which is working beautifully. I'm really happy with the way all of my planners are working right now. Sometimes, especially at the start of the year, I felt really not quite there. Something wasn't quite right. I now feel like it's it's perfect. It's working really nicely. Uh, but I'm going to get you guys to give me a hand with deciding which insert I use for May in my planner, in my YouTube planner. So you guys can help me out with that. Uh, in a second. Hey Sabine. Um, but I guess to sort of jump in and show you show you something um, to start off with, I have been, this is my awesome Easter one, I like that one. Uh, I have obviously been sort of doing the, the monthly setup. So this was my um, back end of last month, sort of my memory keeping I guess. So that was the pictures of Des and I from going to Harry Potter. I did have this other kind of thought when I did this of having like the actual flyer from the show and that was my plan but I forgot to get it on the day and I didn't have it and I haven't been anywhere near the theatre to be able to get another one. Uh, so at the moment it's just like that but I can probably stick one in afterwards. I have funny reflections on my glasses in that photo I never noticed before. Uh, but I had I had some butter beer and then we had the front of the theatre and everything and it was just, if, if you're even half a Harry Potter fan, even half a Harry Potter fan, um, you need to go and see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. It is it is freaking amazing. I'm not breaking any of the secrets, uh, but it was just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Go and see it if you can. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to admit something to you guys. I haven't read a book since January, February, something like that. Um, I need a book. I need a book that I'm going to enjoy. I'm... I'm really into podcasts at the moment. I don't know where that came from. I've always loved podcasts. Um, a friend of mine used to have a podcast that he talked about Game of Thrones on, so I'm sort of hooked on that. So when Game of Thrones season comes around, I'm always big on the podcasts. Uh, but I've recently found uh, a couple of crime. I love true crime. I think it's really interesting. Um, so I found a couple of true crime podcasts that I've been listening to basically nonstop. Here's a helpful hint for anyone at home. Don't listen to true crime podcasts before you go to sleep if you scare yourself silly because I did that one night. Uh, thankfully, when Ryan's sleeping next to me, I don't get creeped out. Uh, but when he's not here, if he goes to boys' night or whatever, I can't listen to it because I freak myself out. I don't know if you know that. 
Have I told you that? I have woken myself up twice with like, they'll have um, like effects of them screaming or anything or something and it wakes me up. Don't like it. Makes me very, but I like having something to fall asleep to. Um, Gilly, these are, yeah, these are the sprocket. These are from the scro sprocket. I'm just going to sneak in here for a sec. So my sprocket lives in here. Uh, it's my little sprocket. Whoops. Little cord sticking out. My little sprocket does all the little printing bits. Um, so I have done a full review on this baby. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll put it. It's in. It's on my channel, obviously. Uh, but I will link it down below uh, for the obviously the, the replay of this. It doesn't come with me everywhere. It it sort of doesn't leave the house at the moment. But then I'm not really doing a lot of planning on the go, so that kind of makes sense. Um, but I I do love the sprocket. I think it's I think it's really interesting. Um, interesting. I think it's really good. Sorry. Uh, so the the podcast is something that I'm sort of half thinking I need to come up with a way to track them a little bit like the books. Maybe there needs to be like a little thing I put in here to remind me of my podcasts. I just because I'm catching up on a lot of them, it doesn't sort of I haven't really needed to remember them. And I know my Game of Thrones ones are always going to come out on the Tuesday after Game of Thrones, so that doesn't make any difference. Uh, but it. It would be a cool thing to put in my planner to have a podcast thing. So if anyone's done a podcast tracker or a podcast thing, uh, please let me know and tag me in something on Instagram so maybe I can go and have a look because, yeah, no idea. All right, hey, Sherelle. My favourite book is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Alborn. Haven't heard of that one. Hold on. Let's write some things down. Where have I got some note? Where have I got note paper? Seriously. Seriously. Um, while we're talking about seriously... This pen, freaking and awesome. Absolutely adore it. Five people you meet in heaven. I know this is really boring, but I want to write them down so I don't forget. And this is why we have planners, right? Uh, so then this is this week, which you guys have seen, obviously. Um, adore this week. I really do. I was really petrified when I was doing it that this would not work. Um, but... It's awesome. I've already beat my 20 book challenge. 20. Mel, that's not fair. I I had really good intentions with reading at the start of the year. I read four in like a month. But then I got halfway through. And this is what happens with me with any kind of book. I got halfway through a book and I don't even remember what it is. Um, and I got bored. And because I got bored, I stopped. And then I didn't try and find another one. It just didn't happen. I don't know. Um, and then, this is what I was actually sort of skipping through. So this is my memory keeping page. This is the page that's sort of been coming and going in the last couple of months. I have done some month like um what's the word I'm looking for? Culling in here a little bit because I it was getting a bit fat. Uh, so a couple, I think it must have been January and February, I had two pages at the back where I was sort of doodling and stuff. I ran out of time to doodle and draw, so I haven't been doing it. Uh, but I am back to doodling at the moment. I love these lavenders. I think they came out really beautifully. Um, all good, Denise. Thanks for popping back for a second. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been playing with easy doodles to see what I can come up with. I, I kind of messed up this page. There was a lot of watercolour seeping through from this side, so I covered it with a piece of Kiki K paper, um, which sort of made it look okay. Um, and then I've got, I can't show you the next page behind this one because then you get a sneaky peek. Um, sneaky peek at next week's decoration. Let me know if you want just a teeny tiny. I'll do like... I do like Sammy from Planners Anonymous do. I might just do like a sneaky peek. Uh, but this is my May sort of monthly setup. The monthly setups are working really well for me at the moment. I like them. Um, just a little birthday thing, things I need to do, and then just sort of what's going on in the world, I guess. I kind of messed this up when I was doing it. So this is actually, I cut it out and stuck it on. So it looks a little, if you get really close to this, it doesn't look so great. But um, eh. Um, I'm just looking, I'm just, there's some more ideas there. Make sure you have tissues handy. Okay, I can have, is that one for the five people meet in heaven? Okay, yeah, oh, tissues, tissues. Write that down too. Um, who said something else? The uncurated life. I don't mind swearing. Trust me, you guys, if you ever saw me at the football, you'd know I have no problem with swearing. No problem at all. Um, hi, Lucy. Okay, this is the first time I'm just going to just have a just a quick squishy at the football. Now, just, just a little one. I, 
this is how much I love you. I'm here. Oh, okay, that was a podcast. Thank you. I'll I'll make sure I have a look at that. Or have a read of that. Melbourne are winning by six. I'm gonna keep you guys in, in informed. I know you won't care, but some of you might. Podcast. Always looking for podcasts. Alright. I'll come back to this. I'll come back to this later if you guys want to see a sneaky peek at next week. Um, so things I need you guys to help me with, and I'm going to sort of chuck chuck two ideas at you. So I want to set up my April, and I'll give you a bit of a look in here. So I want to set up my April um, social media TN. I, l I love this. This is so working out for me. I just adore it. Someone needs to give Ash a running score. Yes, they do. Someone needs to be doing it for me. Ryan, um, so you need to let me know which which insert you want me to use next month. So I have printed one out for Blossom. I can use it, uh, but I need to reprint it because I didn't do a very good job of um, trimming it up, which is just bugging me a little bit. So I do have Blossom, which I could use. Um, I do have Sunflowers, but I don't really feel like winter is the moment to be using the Sunflowers. So I think I'm tossing up between using Serenity and Wild and Free. So you guys need to let me know which one you think or which one you would really like to watch. Um, I am, I'm just unholding a message for review. Does anyone in, let me know in the next sort of five seconds, ten seconds, um, if anyone here has any problem with swearing because there's a, it's not a swearing. Um, if you have a problem with swearing for a second, don't look at the comments. I'm just, <laughs> it's not actually, like, Anyway, um, I'm still going to put it in this TN. I like this one better. I didn't think I would. I thought I would be so into Serenity. There's something about the dark of Wild of um, Hello Universe that I just adore. I could also use, obviously, Space Whale, uh, which isn't out yet. It won't be far away, though. Um, so I could do that one, too. But everyone seems to be saying Wild and Free. So <laughs> I might be doing Wild and Free. Very excited by that. Um, just writing out more things. Book. Does that automatic the helm thing? Yes. Mm. If someone swears or attempts to swear. What was the swear word? There was an F word in there, but it's got a star. Oh, really? No, she wasn't swearing at me. Where are you, Kim? It's just, it's a, it's a podcast name. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm just going to write this down. Cheryl, I've got your question there. I'll grab it in just a sec. Hold on. Very boring when I do this, I'm aware. There's something about these comments that don't save, so if I don't check things now, I forget to later. So, Marcus Zusak. Uh, just uh, chucking this out there too. Um, who's watching Game of Thrones? Because I need people to discuss it with, because Ryan gets sick of my theories, I think. No, no he doesn't? After three podcasts, two TV shows, and lots of online reading, I have lots of theories, which is just not good, I don't think. You're taking more content about the show than the show itself. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. And everybody's saying Wild and Free, so I will definitely be doing Wild and Free. Hi, Nancy. Um, is there a Book Lovers TN coming out? I don't know officially. I don't know, officially. Um, you guys will find out very soon. Uh, it's very... The the TNs for Planners Anonymous are just brilliant, full stop. Um, I think I think Sammy said that there will be a, a book lover TN. I just don't think she's announced yet which version of the cover it was. So keep an eye out. It'll be coming very, very, very soon. I promise. Um, is there a book lover... Yes, there is. Here we go. Mel's already answered you. What do I use my TN for? Okay. How many tans do I have? Too many. <laughs> and he doesn't know that there's three more coming. Um, I have I have a bunch of different tans. I have... Where did I put the other one? Did I bring it up? No, I didn't. So I have I have a couple of Mumsy and Bub ones. This is one um, that I use as a... Well, I have, I have been attempting to use as a, a dress book. I need to get things out of my phone. I don't... I don't like having names and addresses that I don't use in my phone. So I'm going to turn this into an address book. I'm, I obviously got around to making it uh, and to making the inserts, but I have not yet finished filling this in and actually deleting things out of my phone. It is a job to do when I'm not so busy. Uh, 
pardon me. Uh, but I do have one, two, three, four other Mumsy and Bub TNs around here somewhere. And then I've got one, two, three, four. It's either four or five. Um, four or five of the Planners Anonymous ones. I love them both for different reasons. Oh, actually, both for the same reasons. They're, they're all... They're, they're both fantastic. There's no kind of thing. She said yes in the Insta story with the cover and it's like, okay, there we go. So if you guys have already seen it, I, well, I don't, you guys can say it in the comments because then I don't get myself into trouble. <laughs> Jet. Oh, hold on. Someone wants to come say hi. Come here. Come. Well, she didn't call me. Come on. Come. Hello. You say hi to everybody. You say hi. Hello. He's a cutie pie. He's been a bit sooky lately. I don't quite know what's going on. Cannot hear you, Ash. Can you hear me now? Let me know. Bookcase on the outside, cyclones on the inside. There you go. Nice work. Um, let me know, guys, if you can't hear me. Jet, can you go away now, please? Go on. He did just walk in, so perhaps he um, pulled a cord out. So if you can't hear me, let me know. Um, but then I'm ready to hear you. <sighs> Hold on. There we go. There you go. Everyone can hear me, so we're okay. There we go. Cool. Um, how old is Jet? Jet's three? I think so. Three or four, something like that. I think we got him... We got him in the in at Easter time after you and I got together. So it would have been... We've been together... So he'd be coming up to four. He'd be coming up to four, or has just gone four. So four in January. Oh, there we go. It's four in January. Um, he's a very good dog. He's just a very sooky dog at the moment, and he likes his dad, and he doesn't like me. Um, but that's okay. Uh, back to the TNs. So yeah, the book lover one is coming. Stay tuned very soon. I do know of some other TNs that maybe Sammy's going to do. Maybe. Uh, so fingers crossed they get announced really, really soon so I can talk about them because it's killing me. Um, but yeah, you guys know I, I adore Planners Anonymous. I know I've kind of got one foot in the Planners Anonymous. Ryan, I can see you playing with the dog behind me. All right. <sighs> You guys know I've had a foot in the Planners Anonymous camp since day dot. Um, for anyone, now here's a little couple of things that could happen this month if you guys are interested in it. So number one, if you don't follow Sammy over on Instagram, you need to go and do it because she's going to go wild in Vegas in a couple of weeks' time. Stop it. <laughs> I, I'm seeing everything in delay because I'm looking at the camera, which is over here, which has got the what's happening, um, what's happening sort of, in delay. This one over here has got what's happening in real time and Ryan was playing with the dog behind and it was just funny. Jet, go away. Go on. Oh. Oh. What am I going to do with my boys, huh? Yeah, Ryan and Jet are so funny. Exactly. They're hilarious. They should have their own YouTube channel. <laughs> Would you guys watch a Ryan and Jet YouTube channel? It would be very boring. I don't think so. I'd watch it. I could watch it while I was at work. <laughs> yes, she does leave on Saturday morning. So back to Go Wild. Uh, so if you don't follow Sammy on Instagram and you're interested in Go Wild, I do also know that Emma from Emma from Tender Designs is going and I know that Pearl's going. I don't know if Pearl's got an actual Instagram or if she's just... Uh, she's a friend of mine from Planner Days. Um, I know they're going too, so I'm going to be living vicariously through them. And if you guys are interested in this, uh, so Denise has plan a day for Western Melbourne people um, and for all Melbourne people if you want to travel over to Altona um, the first Saturday of every month which happens to fall this month the same week as Go Wild so we're having Solane which is all Denise's idea um, I don't know what's going to happen I do know I get to go this year which is I'm very excited uh, so if you guys want me to do live check-ins from Solane please let me know um, because I'm sure the rest of us would be lovely would be um, enjoy very much having everybody as part of our plan today. Uh, look, see, Nancy and Esther say they'd watch your channel. They'd watch a Jet and Ryan YouTube channel. Um, yes, following Sammy, sorry, is the same as following Plans Anonymous. Yes, sorry. They're all going to be on her regular account, I believe. I believe we're also getting updates from Michael, which will be fun because he's taking over Plans Anonymous while Sammy's away, uh, which I just think is really cool. Hi, Pearl. There we go. People text me. Uh, <laughs> Pearl's watching. I do have an Instagram. It's planner. Hold on, here we go. Planner girl. So all one word. Dot pmj. So if you want to watch somebody else's 
um, live check-ins, live videos, sort of general social media-ish things, um, head over to Pearl. So it's plannergirl.pmj on Instagram and you can follow along with her as well. Okay, you guys have to tell me what else you want me to talk about because otherwise I'm going to run out of things and I don't really want to. Uh, my chair looks comfy. Is it new? No, it's not new. Um, <laughs> and it, it is comfy. Um, it squeaks, which drives me slightly bonkers. Um, and it's more the floor that's a problem, but it rolls around a little, which drives me a little crazy. When we get into the new house... Oh, I've got house things to tell you. Um, when we get into the new house... Uh, shush, right? Uh, you guys know, if you don't know, sorry, uh, we're building a house... Um, I'm having a brand new studio as I'm calling it. I'm not calling it a craft room anymore. It's going to be called a studio because it's going to be a filming space um, as well as a crafting space. Um, I'm hoping to get a new chair then. I have not officially run that past Ryan. Um, but I do have a chair that I have seen that I am really interested in and I would really like. WD-40 it. Can you WD-40 my chair? He said he'll try. I don't touch... I these, this is, this is my WD footy, WD footy, WD forty. Sandra said footy. Um, this is, this is my fix at everything. WD forty is Ryan's. Uh, yes, please, Sandra, please let me know footy scores so that I don't have to look. Um, so yeah, there hopefully will be a new chair. Okay, house update. House update. Loan approved. Well, yes, but I'm, but the loan officially approved. Very excited by that. Um. We kind of got ourselves into a bit of a hole, but we got ourselves out of it, which is really good. Pardon me again. Um, hey, Fina. Oh, South Africa. Have we had South Africans with us before? I don't remember. Fina, if you hear me talking about football, I'm a crazy footy person and I need to know what the score is. So excuse that if you don't, it doesn't make any sense to you. Um, so yeah, the loan was approved. The, the, how, the land is titled. Yes. Land is titled. Um, and we should settle next week. Next Wednesday, we should settle. Um, we did we did wander in there. Hi, TMC. Uh, we did wander in there, um, was it last weekend? Last week? Um, and got kicked out because we're not supposed to be in there yet. Uh, but we were walking on the on the house, which was kind of weird to stand in the place that's going to be our garage. Um, but it was, it was very, very cool to actually stand on the piece of land that was now almost technically ours, almost. Uh, Richmond 25, no, Richmond 27 to Melbourne 25. Excellent. Is it quarter time, Sandra? Please tell me that too. Um, so, yeah, we, we're officially titled and we'll be settled next Wednesday. So, believe what happens from here is we do soil tests and all those sort of things. Um, and then they can, once those have all sort of been approved and everything like that, then we can start building. So, probably what, one or two months before we can start building? Month and a half. Month and a half. Uh, so, what are we now? End of April. So, maybe midway through June. Uh, we should be able to start building and then sort of allow eight months, nine months to build. I'm secretly in the back of my head now thinking probably going to be about this time next year that we're actually moving in. It's going to be really hard with work, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, but I'll bring you guys along for the journey the whole way if you guys are interested in it. Um, a lot of this stuff's already been decided. I'm very set with the way I want the house to look. Um, but if you guys want to see sort of house stuff and mood boards and stuff for each of the rooms and want to see that kind of me putting it all together. Well, I'm very happy to show you that, but just keep in mind, I'm not an interior designer. I don't profess to be an interior designer. I probably do things all wrong, um, but I'm just doing it for what I like and what I want it to be. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, Trish, who am I barracking for? I'm barracking for a good game. I'm not a Richmond supporter or a Melbourne supporter. I'm going to the footy tomorrow to cheer for my boys. Um, you will be tipped. I have tipped Richmond. And I have friends that love Richmond. And I don't have as many friends that like Melbourne. So perhaps I'm slightly a little bit... A little bit Richmond. Um, Fina, what's my subject agenda? Nothing. I'm just here to hang out with you guys. That's. I don't have anything planned tonight. All I've done so far is just got your uh, suggestions on which TN insert I should use next month and showing you my monthly pages. I am going to give you a sneaky peek of next week's decoration in a second. Um, I'm glad you guys are all interested. Oh, nearly half time already. How did that happen? 
Um, I'm very excited that you guys are excited about my house. I, I don't ever want anything on my channel to feel like I'm bragging, so please tell me if I do and stray into that. Um, never the intention, but I can see how perhaps it might go that way occasionally, so please let me know if I ever stray down there. Um, so this is something else I want to show you guys that I made. So you guys know I love my Unipin pens. Rather than carrying them around with me, I've been keeping them at home and I sort of keep them displayed like this. I made this with my Cricut. I did, um, this is actually somebody's plan. They put it up on the Cricut page on Facebook. But the way they had it was round, like they had steps of pens the whole way. I think Ryan's zooming in, I think is what he's trying to do. While he's doing that, I'm going to burp. Pardon me. Um, it was sort of a step thing. So I, what I had originally done is made this to... I wanted to put all my Planners Anonymous pens in it to kind of have them on display because they're so pretty. I feel like they're wasted in this little tin. So I wanted to display them. So I was practicing just to see what I could change this around to become. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted and I used a hell of a lot of cardboard to get this. Like, can you guys see how thick this is? Um, I think it was like six pieces of cardstock in the end, which when you think about it, it's pretty good. But it took a really long time and I don't... It's not quite what I want. So I'm looking for another way to display my pens. But in the meantime, I want to show you guys that because I've had it on my desk and I keep looking at it thinking I should show you guys and then I'm like, oh, I, don't, I can't do a whole video on that. It would just be silly. Um, but that's gone black, Ryan. Mm, webcam's stopped. Oh, righto. That's right. I don't know why. The webcam has stopped, guys. Apologies. I'm going to have to do it. You have to go from up here. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, my cousin used to play for Richmond. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I just saw myself pop up there. Interior inspiration will be good because I'm trying to decorate my brother's old room into my craft room. Um, I I have so many ideas with my craft room. Like, so many ideas with my craft room. Um, I don't know how I'm going to fit it, all my ideas in. I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Um, we do obviously want to turn it into a bit of a... like it's, it's a filming space more than a craft room almost. So I, I need to have... I need to have storage. I need to have ways that we can have these light things not on my desk because they drive me freaking bonkers when I'm not filming and I'm just in here. I kind of lose half my office. What are you doing, Ryan? You're going to show the thing. right? Um, I kind of lose a bunch of my desk from where everything is, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. I also hate that my... I love this little thing here with, with my stickers and, and my planners and my Tombos and stuff. But they're almost out of reach. Like they're they're just in reach, but not not where I want them to be. The pens all are. I can reach all my pens, but I can't reach all my tombos, and it bugs me. So I need to do something. Do something. I will sort something out. I need to go and like stand in somebody's ultimate craft room and kind of do that. I don't know. I don't know. Chuck your ideas at me. Tag me on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek of next week's decoration and then you guys have to help me because I'm running out of things to say. Running out of things to say. And this actually ties really nicely into the question that, or the statement that Sandra has made, how good is the new Kiki K range? I'm assuming that you mean the new inspiration range. There is the little bit of luxury collection which is very pretty and I was going to say I'll show you the card I made but no I won't because we've already posted it so never mind. Shush right. Oh why am I always so burpy in these videos? No, that was last week's video. That was Wednesday, the Monday's video. Okay. Monday's video. Um, do I have multiples of my coloured pens in front of me? Um, Ryan, can you please put another shot of my of my extreme amount of um, pens? Yes, I have multiples of multiples of multiples. And I didn't mean to. No. It just kind of happened. Um, obviously I have, I have lots of the black ones because I use the black ones like crazy. Um, and I have a lot of the, the grey ones because I like writing with those as well. But the rest of them just kind of came because I, I buy them when they're on sale in the packs. Like, especially when they're in the 42 packs. I'm just like, oh, I have to have that. Um, and I know what's a good price point for them now. Like the 42 or even the 36 or 24 packs. I know what's the good price point and if I see it at a good point, I just grab it. 
because I know I'm always going to use them. The tips on these do go down after a little while. Sorry, you guys can't see that at all. Um, they do, like it's a felt pen, so it will go go down as you use it. So I'm always aware of having too many or not. Or you can never have too many because you'll use them. Um, there's some colours that I don't use as much as others, so I don't need them. But anyway, and they keep bringing out new colours, which doesn't help me. Doesn't help me. Um, back to what Sandra was saying about the new inspiration range. I really, really like it. And I said that, uh, sorry, I'm going to go off this one again. So these are the Stabler Tri Plus Fine Liners. Adore these pens. They're my favourite. Favourite pen to write with. Actually, these ones are the best pens to write with if I just want black. These ones are the best ones to write with if I want colour. Um, and that's the sort of way I work them out. I do love my Planners Anonymous pens. I do love my Kiki K pens. I do have a ton of other pens in front of me as well. Those are the ones that I gravitate back to no matter where I go. I always end up back with those ones. Um, I haven't ever tried Muji pens and I haven't ever tried the the fine liners that everybody seems to have. The um, like the highlighter ones that everybody which like just adores. I, do, I don't, I've, I never, I've never seen them in a store so I've never been able to pick them up. So if someone can tell me where I get them from, I'd happily go and try them. Um, Sandra's question. Sandra's question. I'll come back to Sandra's question. Thank you. Continue to remind me. Um, what are the best price points? Okay, so for the 42 or the 48 pack, if you can get it for $40 or less, that's completely, like, that's, yeah. Um, anything, and it sort of comes down from there. I won't pay any more than a dollar a pen, like if you think about it that way. So if it's a an eight pack and it's $9, I'm not going to get it because it's just, I, I know I can get it cheaper and I know I can hold out. Um, if I have to buy them singularly, which sometimes I do, I've certainly bought the black ones before singularly. Uh, and I've bought, these are the, the new colors that have just come out and they're actually not in any packs yet. Um, I've bought these singularly and I buy them for about, a, I think they're $1. fifty or something like that at Officeworks, which is why I avoid buying them singularly if I can but if, if you don't ever spend more than a dollar a pen you've done really well and the cheaper you can bring it down from there the better uh, going back to Sandra's question I love the inspiration range I love the colors I love the patterns you guys saw my vision board it's up there and I adore it and I can't stop looking at it and I've used it next week in my planner um, but I don't like that they've um, I don't like that they've kind of reused a bit of it. That kind of bugs me. It looks like they've half redesigned it and then gone, oh, but we don't have enough time to finish it, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Pardon me. That kind of disappoints me a little. Um, but just being honest between the 30 of you and me, um, a lot of things Kiki K have been doing recently have been disappointing me. So perhaps perhaps it's sort of all in that. I'm, I'm sure they'll come good. I have faith in them. I always have. Um... And I still love them no matter what. I keep buying them. so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, adore. So I'm going to show you this really quick sneak peek. I was, no, hold on. Turn, turn the top camera off for a sec. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it open and then Ryan's going to turn it on and then off again very fast. Because you've got to see the whole thing in its whole big glory. Otherwise, it make, doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm going to open it up, flip, and then go off. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I kind of, I cannot wait for you guys to see this week. It's the most uh, full on, I think is the right word, uh, full on week I've ever done. It's the closest thing to a no white space I'm ever going to do. Um, and I adore it. I think it's fantastic. So, yeah. Um, I can discuss Games of Thrones with you. Uh, yes, Pearl, I know you're a massive one. I can't, oh, cannot wait to get to episode three. Um, have I ever done a type of layout showing your progression achievements at all i don't know what you mean lucy let me know a little bit more and i'll i'll answer that a bit better bunch of planet beautiful stickers can't find a pen there we go mel says they do mel huh? i do have a planet beautiful kit here somewhere behaven planet beautiful that's one i do have a planet beautiful kit here that i'm stay i'm saving for the first week of winter um so I will use that then and be able to let you know exactly. So that one is coming coming soon. 
while we're speaking of kits i put up an instagram post this afternoon asking if you guys think i should get a kit for game of thrones finale week can you go and vote on that please because i am i'm on the fence i don't the kit is beautiful but it's got pink in it i don't like pink and I don't know if pink is the right thing for Game of Thrones. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, the coloured pens from Uniball Signal are good, but you need to buy them single. I haven't got that one. Have you guys... I, I put this up on Instagram. These are little um, gel pens. Where's my notepad? Um, these are gel pens from Kmart of all places. These were... Th I want to say three... No. Two dollars for six pens. And you got... Just get them all out. So you got six in the kit. You got one green and one blue, and then you got two pinks and two purples. These are so beautiful to write with. Like just to give you guys a bit of a. And if you love coloured pens but you don't like the the fine tip or the felt tip pen, these are great. The colours are fantastic. The writing is really nice. It's really smooth. Thank you for zooming in, Ryan. This is a kit. Ha! Huh. It was meant to say test, but... Excuse my horrible writing. I'm writing fast, which I don't normally do. I'll do it slowly so it's nice. Here we go. Um, these are fantastic and for, seriously, 33 cents a pen. Who cares if they're not? That's just... Whew, love them. Uh, so they're from Kmart. Um, Game of Thrones, but pink is not a... Pearl, go and look at the... At the picture I've got on Instagram because yeah, um, printed out a Game of Thrones kit for last week when a little nap. Mel, tag me on Insta or send me a picture because I want to see. I did I did a Game of Thrones. I've done a couple of Game of Thrones weeks, haven't I? Mm. I think. Um, I have done a couple of Game of Thrones. I know I did a printed a printed one. <laughs> I'm coming back to your question, Yvonne. Um I, I did a like a printable one that I tried to print the stickers out and I didn't do a very good job, but it, it, it worked. I think the first year I just sort of printed it out and stuck it down with glue tape. Um, do I have the Kmart pens, are uh, the Kmart gel pens very smudgy? Okay, here we go. I've just smudged, but I'm, I'm, I can't, I can write left-handed, but this is horribly messy. So no, I can't write left-handed. I used to be able to because my sister's left-handed and I used to write left-handed so she didn't feel bad. No, that's that's not smudging. Can you zoom in, right? I don't know if you can or not. Oh. Oh. So I've, I've written that and then gone over it like the second the ink's dry. That's not smudging at all, um, Kim. So, Kimberly, sorry. So you should be okay with these ones, even if I do... Okay, if I do that and then go like that, it does smudge a little. So maybe I lied. No, <laughs> maybe I lied. Um, Yvonne says, Ryan, you need to search how many times that Ash says I doesn't like I don't like pink except the one I'm using. Lots. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many of them. I I don't know. Maybe I I think I don't like pink, but I do like pink. Just go to look at every pink week you've done, and then. I haven't done that many pink weeks. I've done at least ten in the last few. I just pink's just an easy colour. I don't know. I like the Game of Thrones kit. It looks kind of gothic. That's true. I could add some red in there with that gilly. I'm 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 scared of adding too much red because it just reminds me of the red wedding. And it'll make me sad. This whole thing's gonna make me sad. Um, by the way, speaking of sad, has anyone got a footy update for me? Um. <laughs> It's going to make me sad tomorrow. Maybe, the reason I said that was because I got really emo when I was watching the Dawn, not the Dawn service, the um, Anzac Observance, and I know I'm going to cry like hell tomorrow, and I know I'm going to cry like hell at the game tomorrow as well. I cry every Anzac day, but that's okay. Um, <sighs> TMC said, do I have a Kiki K A6 diary kind of consider between A6 Hobnocky? What's your thinking? Um, I haven't got a Hobnocky. I don't, I haven't seen... The whole big thing. I don't have an A6 diary. Just grabbing this. This is where I don't like this thing. I don't have an A6 diary. I have this little ace. I think it's A6. Um, little journal that 
I got, I don't remember, was when in one of the, um, oh, one of the workshops I did, we got this one. I, 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 this is my personal opinion. This is why I think Hobnockies and I wouldn't get along. As far as I'm aware, Hobnockies are, um, no, that's a personal. Ryan's just passed me this one and said, is that A6? Um, same general size, Ryan, but a little bit wider. Oh. Just to... That's where all my Essendon membership cards went. Couldn't find my membership card and I had to get them to send me a new one. Yeah, this year wouldn't be... No, this is a but my barcode number, which would be the same, would have been in there. Mm. I was looking for that everywhere. Did I say it wrong? Hob, hob knocky? Is that not what it is? Natasha, am I showing my plan of newbiness? I say it like gnocchi, I think. It's not pasta, actually. Um, I think that the hobnock, as, as far as I'm aware, the hobnockies, I think, are they nope? Are they not actual proper notebooks? Because that's, and I'm actually going to contradict myself because I'm not having an issue with that with my TN. Um, I, I, Trish, I could be completely wrong, but that's just how I say it in my head, and I could be wrong. Um, I always have avoided. Hobo Nietzsche. Ah, okay. Hobo Nietzsche. That sounds better than Hobnocky. <laughs> I'm learning, Amy. Thank you. Um, I've always had a problem with actual bound books. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm kind of contradicting myself with my TN because I'm really enjoying that. <laughs> yeah, but you can pull it out, though. But I can pull it out and I can add them. And, but I only use them for a month as well. So maybe... I could use a Hobo Nietzsche. <laughs> I like Hobnocky, it sounds better. Um, I, maybe I could, but I'm very set with my everyday planning. I don't, I don't tend to change from my beautiful Aussie Planner Chick inserts. As I, I, I could, I don't want to. I like them. They're perfect for me the way I is. Um, Natasha, please don't wet your pants, cause, cause that would be hilarious. But um, please don't wet your pants. Uh, okay, I'm leaving this last couple of minutes open to you guys. Thank you, uh, Trish, uh, not Trish, Sandra for the scores. Richmond 36, Melbourne 26 for anybody that's following along at home. Um, you guys can let me know what else you'd like to talk about. If there's little things that you'd like to kind of bring up or ask along the way. I'm trying to think what else I have here that I can show you. <sighs> I don't think I have anything. I really don't. I don't think I have anything left. I like Hobnocky too. I found a printable Hobo Nietzsche book. I'm, to, I'm kind of trying, going to try and say it right just so that Natasha doesn't wet her pants. Um, so I'm not thinking of Hobo Nietzsche. Probably. Hobo Using it as a food and exercise tracker. That's a really good idea, Mel. I'm, I'm so, so off the... Um, so off the exercise bandwagon right now. I just, I have no want to do anything. It's, I've gone into full winter mode and there's no big reason to, um, kind of do stuff. So I, I haven't been, um, have the, have I watched Avengers? I'm not into Marvel. I never have been. Ryan is. Is that true? Is that you into Marvel? Is that a too over the top of ish term? No, I'm into it, but I'm not. He's not crazy crazy. Like he hasn't been... He hasn't been to the movie yet. I'm I'm debating making him go see Aladdin with me the day it comes out, but that's just because I'm a Disney nut. Um, no, I'm I'm not I'm not a superhero kind of person. I I don't really I don't really like Superman or Spider Man or anything Marvel. Like, does Harry Potter count as a superhero? I don't I don't know if he does. I'm kind of more fantasy than superhero. But at the same time, I really don't like Lord of the Rings, so I think I fall into a weird kind of love Game of Thrones, love Harry Potter, love anything Disney, so Narnia, Wonderland, any kind of world, Oz, anything of that I'm really into, but for some strange reason, the Lord of the Rings and I just don't get along. So I don't... I, I should go back and watch that again as an adult, because I hated it as a kid, like as a teenager. Maybe I would like it more as an adult. I don't know. Uh, don't worry, no one's going to spoil anything here, Gilly. We don't do spoilers on Plum Mashable. We don't. I'm a huge geek too, Gilly. Don't worry about it. Um, I think everyone falls off around Easter. Mel, I've been falling off for a lot longer than Easter. I think I've been off since Australia Day. 
think I've been off since the wedding. Basically, as soon as I could start eating again, I did. So we're back to normal food. I'm back to eating breakfast again. God, I love breakfast. Can we have pancakes for breakfast tomorrow? Uh, what else do we have? Looking forward to the Brisbane planner markets. How, any tips on how early we need to be to be one of the first? I don't think you have to camp overnight, Kim. I've never been to Brisbane, like the Brisbane planner markets. Stupidly, I moved, I think, like two weeks before the Brisbane planner markets, which makes me so angry. Um, I have obviously been to two Melbourne planner markets and I've been to one Sydney planner market. I've never had to camp out and I've always been the first, well... Last year's Melbourne Planner Markets don't count because I got to go in early because I sort of helped help, help some people set up. So that probably doesn't count. But the year before when nobody knew who I was <laughs> and all thought I was really weird, tell the truth, you all thought I was weird. Um, I am weird. Um, I We got there, what, three? It opened at 10. What time were we there? 8.30. 8.30. Like... You were a VIP thing though. I was, I, yeah, I pre-purchased the VIP bag, so I didn't need to be in the first 200, uh, which kind of helped. For Brisbane, Brisbane seems to be a lot bigger, um, a lot bigger than, than even Melbourne and Sydney. Sydney's probably the smallest of them from what I have experienced and what I've seen. Um, I reckon that if you got there, I think if it, I think it opens at 10. I reckon if you're there by 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock, you should be okay. I don't think you have to camp out. Um, just, if you're not one of the first 200, here, this, this is, this, this is my advice for planner markets. Do not walk in and buy the first thing you see. Just don't. Number one, if they run out of something that you want, like if you see something and I always go, like walk in the door, start somewhere and walk around. Do a loop before you do anything else. Go and look at everything at every table because if you don't, you'll seriously be out of money before you hit the fifth stall. It's just, you need to go around and see everything first. If you get back, like let's say that I've, I've done my loop and I've seen a piece of wash, like a washies thing at Hobby Hoppers that I just have to have and I get back around there and they're not, it's not there anymore, it's sold out. Trish will be able to find it for me later. Very few places have planner, like market exclusives that are only going to be available at the markets. They might have it so it's, exclusive to begin with at the market and then they'll put it on the store later so don't don't get that FOMO you might get there might be some things with the like you know I don't know if they're doing VIP bags or anything um, there might be some things in there that are exclusive but I would I would suggest that most people would have things will be available at the markets first but they'll launch on the website later so do your loop first see what everybody's got See what you want to get. See the things that you absolutely have to have and you're going to be really upset if you don't. And then go buy those and then you've got your money left over. Because the, the worst thing I did at the first Melbourne Planner Markets, I bought everything and I reckon I got around to the fifth one and I said, Ryan, I'm out of money and he had to give me more. Not good. He wasn't happy. So then the next year I learnt and I just bought things. I did the loop and I did the same thing at Sydney. Did the loop and then it was okay. Pardon me. So that is my advice, Kim. Um, I reckon get there, if it starts at 9, get there about 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, if it's anything like Melbourne, they'll have a coffee cart out the front. You can get yourself coffee, stand in line. You'll meet some beautiful people. I met some beautiful people in the line. I st like, I meet beautiful people at the planter markets all the time. I love them. Um, you just have to, you just have to go. It's, it's just so much fun. Um, Mel said last year's planter market was so much fun. Definitely get sign up to all the workshops. I will be interested to see if the workshops happen again. I don't know if they will. I hope they do because I really enjoyed them. I did I did mine, obviously, um, and then I sat in for Denise's and we made this little beauty, which still lives on my cupboard because it holds in all my stamps and I love it. Um, so I'm hoping we have workshops again this year. The biggest thing with the workshops last year was that they didn't... Um, they didn't sell really well at the beginning. They sold really well by the end and they sold out. But I think at the beginning there wasn't as much interest. So if they do do workshops again, my biggest suggestion, please, 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 is sign up for them as soon as you can. It means you don't miss out. And it means that we know that they're popular and we can then maybe do another one or something like that. Uh, there's a Sydney one. Yes, there is. The next one, as Sherelle just said, in 6th of July. I went to the one that was in January, February. 
somewhere in there. Um, really liked it. Really great mix of stores. Uh, different vibe to Melbourne, but Sydney always has a different vibe to Melbourne, so that's sort of normal. Um, and exactly as um, <laughs> Trish, you beat me to it. There is also going to be a mini version of the Melbourne Planner Markets at Picture Page at Pakenham on the 18th of May. 17th and 18th of May. It's the Saturday and the Sunday. I'm going on the Sunday. I'll be sitting at Denise's table from Luscious Label, but I will also be wandering around and probably buying some stuff. There's a whole video coming. I can feel it. Um, Arty Crafty, it's at the University of Technology in Ultimo. I... When I came up, I only, I only rely on public transport and walking. I stayed in, I stayed on George Street. I just walked. It's really not that far. Uh, but if you can get to like Melbourne, uh, not Melbourne Central, Town Hall Station or Central Station, you can walk to Ultimo from there or you can catch a bus. Goes down George Street, turns up uh, Harris Street into Piermont. You can catch that bus and that goes in there. Yes, I lived in Sydney. No, I don't know that off the top of my head just because I um, went for Planet Markets. <laughs> Eight, oh, sorry, 18th and 19th. Thank you. Not 17th and 18th. I've got my dates mixed up. Um, yes, the, the Sydney ones are really easy to get to. Really, really easy to get to. Um, I don't think, Tian, they do... I, I really hope I pronounced your name right then, sorry. Um, I don't think they do them in Perth. There are a lot of really fabulous sticker stores that come out of Perth. So it would be something that if I were you, I would be trying to drum up interest like on the Planet Addicts Australia page or if there is a WA Planet Addicts page, something like that, try and drum up things like that because you guys are really lucky with some of the awesome stores you have over there. I would be seriously pushing really hard and that would just leave then Adelaide, which I wish I could say there would be Planet Markets in Adelaide because I'd so go, but I don't I don't know about Adelaide, but yeah. Um... You have, woohoo! I got it right. Excellent. Uh, yeah, easy peasy, arty crafty. No problem at all getting to those ones. I did it on foot, carried all my stuff around all day. No problem at all. Loved it. Uh, I'm going to start wrapping things up if you guys don't have any further questions. Like I said, I will I will be. There we go. I'll promote this. For, if, if anyone is in Melbourne and anybody who can't come to the Western Suburbs Planner Days that we have... Um, in, in the first week of May, or first week of every month. If you live on the eastern side of Melbourne, picture the page at Pakenham on the 18th and 19th of May. Um, we'll be having its own little planner alley. There'll be little planner stores. I know um, Trish from Hobby Hoppers is going to be there. Denise from Luscious Labels is going to be there. Um, the girls... Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I um, can't remember their names. I hate names. Um, Nibbles the Buzzing Bunny was the old name, but I can't remember what the new one is. Uh, there's a couple of other planner stores that are going to be there, which are going to be... I'm, I'm really excited to get some more planner stuff, but I'm actually really excited to see Picture to Page. So I was a scrapbooker in a previous life, and I love scrapbooking. I just don't have the time slash pictures slash patience to kind of do it anymore. So I sort of scrapbook in my planner, which is my sort of way of doing it. But there's so much at these sort of... Um, scrapbooking crafty kind of markets that I can put I can put in in my planner and use in my planner which I think is the more exciting part I obviously love I love Denise's stickers and I love all the stickers that we're going to get but to then be able to walk into the main room of picture to page um, and see some of the other things that maybe I can put into my planner that's really exciting to me so I cannot wait to see what's going to be there and I cannot wait to maybe share some of it from you with you guys. So if you want to see live updates on the day, let me know. I'm happy to do that. You guys know I love doing my little lives with you on, on event days. Um, and like I said, I'll do little check-ins from the Melbourne, the Western Suburbs Planner Day on there, the 7th, I think it is, um, for our So Lame. So Lame. Uh, yes, Trish won't be in the Planner Alley bit. She'll be in the main room. And, and I'll be in there too, so don't worry, Trish, I'll come visit you, I promise. Um, I think there's a lot of people from the Melbourne from Melbourne who would go to Adelaide if they had a if they had a planner market, Trish. So I'm I'm up for it if you are. I'd love love to go. We need to sort of wouldn't it be cool if I had like a travelling planner market. And I went to all of them and we just picked up all the different places like along the way. Hmm. Hmm. 
ideas. I have so many ideas and I have no time to put them all into uh, put them all into effect. Um, Kim, definitely take a notebook so you can write things down, but take pictures on your phone. No one is ever like if 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 you ask them first, like you sort of go over to the the stall and go, hey, do you mind if I take a photo? No one's ever going to say no. Seriously. Um, if they do say no, obviously that's fine. But very few people will say no. Take a picture of what you like and then sort of either write yourself a note or get their logo or something in it. And that way you know where to go to go back and find it later. That really helps. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. <coughs> I could feel that coming, so I wanted to talk faster. Um, bus trip. That'd be great. We could do that. Um, I will do lives. I promise, Yvonne. I promise. I promise. Okay. Wrapping things up. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me. I, if this doesn't prove how much I love you, the fact that there's a footy game happening and I'm not watching it. <laughs> Thanks, Gilly. Um, I don't know what will. I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, without being all kind of sad for a second, and I always seem to end these ones sad, don't I? Um, the first couple of months of this year have been really difficult, just with the amount of work that I've been doing and trying to keep on top of everything and the support that I got from you guys the whole way through really helped me get through all of it like I said I got some time off over Easter I feel a bit more like I'm back on top of the world again I'm, I'm back to my planning everything's working out beautifully uh, like I've got my now someone asked about plan a piece I'll come back to that in a sec um, getting back on planning and, and you guys sort of not pushing me through it but I felt like I had to keep creating for you guys that kept me planning and kept me loving it and kept me when I sort of came out of my little funk it was like oh right yeah I've got this so thank you for being there um whoever asked about plan a piece where did it go I'm just gonna scroll back up again do, 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 do. Uh, Tracy sorry I just saw your question um I'm am I planning another house update yes I am I gave a very quick one just before we have oh Ryan no we haven't it's okay never mind um, we have now titled, we will settle next week, which means we can start buildings probably mid June. Is that what we said? Um, so I will do another update once we've sort of broken ground, I guess. That'll be the next kind of one that I do. Um, no such thing as plan a piece. Kimberly said about planning piece. That's right. Um, I agree with Trish. There's no such thing as plan a piece. It doesn't come. If you keep searching for it, you'll never find it. You need to find what makes you comfortable, what works for you and use it until it doesn't make you, doesn't help anymore and then find another one and just keep doing it like that. Find, find the piece and then when you lose it, find it again. That's what you have to do. It's a, it's a ever evolving kind of thing. On that happy note, I'm going to lie, we're going to line that up. That's not the right word. I'm going to wrap it up. I hope everybody has a really good day off tomorrow, whatever you're doing. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll be up at the break of dawn um, and heading to a dawn service somewhere. Our starts at 6.30, so it's actually not as early as it used to be, which is really good. Um, so we're heading to dawn service, and then I'm ditching Ryan and going to the footy by myself. Couldn't get him a ticket. Damn. Um, but I'll be there cheering. If you hear a crazy loud girl, that's me. Um, go Bombers. And I hope you guys have a really good day, whatever you do. I hope you have an awesome, awesome, awesome weekend. And I will see you for my video on Friday. What's my video on Friday? We haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> uh, but I have filmed Monday's, Sunday's video. And I have filmed Monday's video. Monday's going to be my favourites. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already so that you don't miss any of those. Have a great, great night. And I will see you guys again on Friday.